Today's video is ridiculous, but what else is new? I, I don't know how to take things seriously. I really don't. Okay, so David Dobrik posted an apology video. I'm assuming it's an apology video. It's called 032221, which is just the date today. And this was posted this morning and I haven't watched it yet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to react to it, but I'm also gonna play YouTuber apology bingo because like before I watched the video, I haven't seen it yet, but before I watched it, I was going through the comments and somebody said something about YouTuber apology bingo. And I was like, hmm. That'd be kind of fun. So I looked it up and I found a little template and we're gonna play that today. I also want to say this is not me making fun of the situation or thinking it's funny, any of that, not at all. This is a very serious, serious topic and I don't support anything that the vlog squad, David Dobrik, Dom, any of these disgusting people have done or enabled. Um, this is more me just making light of David Dobrik as a YouTuber and YouTuber apologies in general. So we're playing YouTuber apology bingo and let's just see how many boxes this ticks off. So the way that my screen is set up, I wanna be able to show you guys the apology and the, the bingo card. So I'm gonna show you all of that. Okay, are we ready? Hopefully there's no copyright on this. Oh. Also, like before I even start, please let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below. What you think about David Dobrik? Do you think that he had a big role in this? What do you think about Todd? What do you think about Jeff? Let's get this video started. Hi guys, it's um, 1.45 in the morning. Okay, before and... we even, there's already a check off. There was one here that I saw setting up the camera, so that's done. You know what? Let's read through all these just so I can familiarize myself again. Okay, so there's crying. I've already apologized. Let us move forward. I slash my team are working on this. This is not who I am. Out of context. This is different from my usual content. Nobody's perfect. I've changed. Mentions other videos. <sighs> Big sigh. Spontaneous video. Free, ooh, free. <laughs> Humans make mistakes. My heart goes out to What I said in a private moment, please continue supporting me. Change a story. Blame game. Sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry to everyone involved. Dressed up. I've received a lot of hate for this. If I offended, this is good, this is good. Okay, okay, let me start this over because he might have already done some of these. Like, let's, let's start over. This is gonna be fun. Hi guys, it's um, 1.45 mm -hmm. in the morning and I'm finally by myself. <laughs> Which, I know it doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1.45 in the morning, but um, this week's been pretty hectic. This man's yeah. always with people. He's always with people. Okay, let's go. And there have been a lot of people a lot of people around telling me what to do, giving me advice, mm -hmm. um, trying to help me, um, most importantly. And and that was a lot. And, Why is he and, smiling? And, I, and now I, I, I just wanna, I wanna nervous. be able to do this and just shoot straight into the camera and just talk to you guys. Um, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions and I've never done this correctly. Oh, oh, wasn't there I've never done this before or something? Hold on, hold on, let's see, let's see. Um, Mentions other videos have changed. It's different from my usual content. This is not who I am. Change the story. Please continue. So okay, okay. No, you're wrong. Never done this respectfully. And my last video is a testament. <gasps> oh, my last video mentions other videos. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. Mm -hmm. I just want to be clear. Okay. What this video isn't going to be, is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman involved. He literally has not mentioned Trisha's name since the mental hospital incident. This man pretended that she died. I have not heard him refer to her, mention her, nothing. Nothing. So that was, it's really weird to hear him say her name. Um, okay. I'm going to be using words um, that may trigger some survivors. And that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely and I can explain every situation appropriately. I, I want to start this video water. off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as it was reported, the next day I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. And mm -hmm. I, what, what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, 
is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. And that's fucked up. And I'm sorry. It when is. she later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately. It looks like his eyes are watering. We might get that crying bee. I took it down. And I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and. Made them feel. He said, I'm sorry, I made them feel. Okay, we got another one here. We got another one. I don't know if this counts, but I'm counting it. Made them feel. Values were compromised. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, <gasps> that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. It was completely wrong and I wish I was more responsible and I wish I was more aware at the time and, I, and I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was, was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. I don't want to use buzzwords to try to justify this. What are buzzwords? Can someone comment below what buzzwords are? To explain this, but all I can say is people felt like they had to be silent for the sake of my video, and that's not right, and it's fucked up. He's acting like the, okay. I mean, I can't say much about this because he has not posted in like a year, but like even well after this incident, like, you could tell people feel like they have to go along with everything he says. And I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm sorry. I also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about Allie, and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Um, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. I am- Okay, this was I'm sorry to everyone involved. Sorry that I, that I took Dom's word. Um, for what you should be in those in those certain situations and I didn't believe you and not only did I not believe you but I made a joke of, of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend doing this to people and actually hurting people and, and, and I'm sorry for that not only did I discredit you out but I platformed Dom oh the tears and are coming not only did I platform Dom but I platform the subject of sex in the tears are coming. a negative way where I made jokes about it and I reinforced that kind of behavior. Also, is it just me or did he age this year? Like, I don't know. Something about quarantine, he's looking a little bit older. He looks, he's got that five o'clock shadow going on. He's got some little wrinkles in here. And I'm so sorry. And I really let not only you down, but a lot of people down, a lot of people that watch me. My friends and family for that. I made the decision to no longer film with Dom in 2019. And I'm we could do the crying I because he started crying. Brilliant since then, but that's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic and what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people. Mm -hmm. And that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my content shifted to be more responsible and positive, I said and did things that were really offensive and I called them bad jokes and I, and I can't even call them bad jokes and it was cowardly <sighs> of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark. Oh, um, oh, oh, because he mentioned his last apology. I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out. Who? I don't agree with- Name uh, them. Name them. I think when there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself, to learn and improve, and to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. And that's why it's so important to hold yourself accountable. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes that I made. <laughs> mistakes. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've left. That was off center. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. I might take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure okay, when I make like, any kind of content. And I want to be able to have a- I know he's not dressed up, but like, this is David's vlog attire, so I'm gonna put dressed up just so we can- Place of checks and balances. I want to have HR and I want to be able 
um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable Wait, did he just mention them. the team? Yeah, and where, where they don't f be shocked. I'm like more focused on bingo than I am on the apology. It's like... And I want to be able to have a place of checks and balances. I want to have HR. And I want to be able um, to HR. people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable to them. Yeah, and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right mm. to go back to posting like I have been. And it also doesn't feel right to go dark because I love what I do. But I think it is important to show that change is possible. And that change. I'm learning. Maybe even forgiveness is possible. Change. I want to use this opportunity to step up in all my mistakes. And like I said before, I've never done apology the right way. No, you have and not. I'm sure, I'm going to look back at this and I'm, I'm going to be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more. Um, but this is this is my beginning to that and, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also want to add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I want to be able to... to Even Trisha? ...from yourselves and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people mm -hmm. um, because I still have a lot of learning to do. and. I think when you talk to other people, especially about experiences like this, it um, it really helps you see things in a different way. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble, and and I, I really truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience, and another creator can can take away from this. And I know it's it feels, I because I know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group, but really just take the moment how does that feel crazy when it's such an evident thing in your vlogs in your life like how does <sighs> especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of like really take a moment and and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin because i think that's so incredibly important okay when did you start thinking um, that this morning fine. okay so we got Crying, I've already apologized. My team and I are working on this. I've changed, mentions other videos. Humans make mistakes, free. Sorry you feel that way, setting up the camera, dressed up. I'm sorry to everyone involved. Okay, it's not too bad. I think Tana would probably take up 90% of this board. I would say David took up, up like, I suck at math, like 30%, 35%. Um, thoughts on the apology, <sighs> okay. Here's the thing, like, had he posted this at the correct time, I would have thought it was sincere. I think his heart believes it's sincere, but I also think that if brands did not drop him, I mean, he lost Dollar Shave Club, DoorDash, EA, like, a lot of big brands, like a lot, a lot of his money, right? He's not posting videos. I think if brands had not dropped him, he might not have addressed this now. He had a lot of time. He had a lot of time and he didn't do it. And I think that says a lot. And I'm not saying I don't think he's sincere, but I don't think he would have acted with such urgency had his bag not been affected. When your pockets are hurting, suddenly you start to see things clearer like, oh my God, like I did fuck up and you had time, David, you had time. I'm disappointed because I really did love him as a creator. I also think there's a lot more that needs to be said and done about the situation in regards to Dom. Like I think Dom needs to be in jail. I don't, I don't think we need an apology from Dom. I don't think we need another video from Dom. I think that like, something needs to happen Dom. something needs to happen to dom because this is not youtube drama this is literally someone's life and this is sa and the other one um yeah this is really fucked up like this is really fucked up i mean my thoughts on david right now i think he means to be sincere but i think like his heart's in the right place but i think the timing makes it hard to believe and I don't know how much you can really change because I don't think he changed. He's like making the effort to change on his own terms. I think he just got put on blast and he's sorry that this all blew up in his face. And like, I don't know, I don't really buy that part of it. So yeah, all in all, this was my YouTuber apology bingo. I mean, maybe I'll make this a series if another person comes out with an apology video. Hopefully this didn't get copywritten. Oh, I hope not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.